Hi guys, it's Julie. Welcome or welcome back to my wonderful BC life. I am back today with another shopping haul, a little bit from Dollar Tree, some Dollarama items. I've got uh, some items from Old Navy and I got uh, some items from Giant Tiger who we don't have any stores here in British Columbia. For some reason they stop at the Alberta border and nothing past that. I keep sending them hints all the time and they should be getting the hints because I keep ordering things online so they should be figuring out gee there's somebody who keeps buying stuff in British Columbia and maybe we need to put a store there but anyway they haven't gotten the hint yet so hopefully at some point they will but anyway so I've got that and I might as well start off with the Dollar Tree items the first one is a necessity it's the 40 square feet of aluminum foil Bear in mind that anything from Dollar Tree is, as always, $1.50. And I got this as kind of an odd thing. It's the Baby King Medicine Dropper and Spoon, which looks like that. And I didn't really need this part. I've already got one of these in the house. I wanted it for this here. And the reason for that is that some of my nail polish has been getting a little on the thick side. Actually, one was terribly thick the other day, and I don't know why. I haven't had it that long, so it shouldn't have been. But anyway, I know you can go to the store and you can buy stuff that you put in to thin your nail polish. But uh, I thought, is there a way, before I go and buy something, is there a way of doing it at home? I looked online and they said that if you added just a few drops of nail polish remover to it that it would actually thin the nail polish and then it would be easier to use it. So I thought okay that's what I'm going to do but I needed something a little dropper and that's what that's for is just to drop a little bit of nail polish remover into the nail polish to thin it up so that I can still use it. I hate throwing it out if it's like three quarters of a bottle of polish why waste it so anyway I also got this now I don't have a doggy here in my house as much as I wish that I did my husband doesn't seem to want to commit to one right now maybe ever I don't know it, it could be you know seriously it could have something to do with the fact that the last time we had a dog it broke our hearts so badly when he passed and I think he's afraid to see me go through that again it's because I'm the one who takes it the worst. I will cry for months after I lose a pet. Not like constantly, but off and on for months, guaranteed. Certain things will trigger me and I'll start all over again. So maybe that's why he doesn't want to commit, I don't know. But I do have a grand puppy and she does come over sometimes. So I saw this and I thought that this would be a good idea to put her toys in. Right now she's only got one toy, although it was so funny. She came over here the one day and she was upstairs at first, like on the main floor of the house, and then all of a sudden she made a beeline for the basement stairs, which is where her bed is. And she runs down there and we're like, what's she doing? Why is she running down there? Up she comes. She's got her toy duck in her mouth. And she was so happy that, that she had found her duck. So anyway, I thought maybe I would put a little container down there and I could get her a few more toys so that she knows where that they all are down next to her bed. And this is the Greenbrier Kennel Club Pet Toy Bin. And that looks like that. It's got the little uh, dog bones and the little paw prints on it. And it's nine by nine by eight inches so anyway i got that for her to put her toys in and then the next items are from dollarama this item is uh something that i have to buy every once in a while not too often but once in a while i do it's the qtex ultra powerful nail polish remover for hard to remove glitter gel and dark colored polish and it really does work way better on the nail polishes that normally would be hard to get the stuff off. Like the glitter stuff was usually brutal. This stuff gets it off really well. And that looks like that. And that was $3. The next item, 
Dave likes to make um, chocolate milk. He like Nestle's quick, that sort of thing. You just add it to your milk and then stir it up. And he said some of the glasses that we have, they're the Coca-Cola style glasses and they're narrow at the bottom. He doesn't like trying to mix it up when you've got that narrow bottom on there and that. So I said, well, I'll look around and see if I can find some glasses. So I found these ones. They've got a fairly wide bottom on them, as you can see. And they were $2.25 a piece, and I did buy two of those for our chocolate milk. Hopefully they're wide enough, I don't know, but they're nice looking glasses anyways. So I got those. And then I haven't tried this before. It's the Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips. It has a, it's a, got a petroleum jelly in the uh, lip balm. And I believe it has like a little bit of a color to it. And I thought that might be nice. It should be good for your lips anyway. I hope so. And that was $1.50 at Dollarama. The next item is a repurchase, which we know, especially at this time of the year, we don't have burgers as much in, during the winter, but at this time of the year, we do have them paramount. And it's the Lay's Classic Chips for $2.50. Got one bag of those. And then the next item, I had seen these shirts that they had in Dollarama, and I thought, you know, some of those don't look like a bad shirt. I could see Dave wearing those. And so I uh, did show them to him the one day, and he, there were these ones that had some striping on them, and he really liked those ones. Well, they didn't have the size that he needed, so I ended up uh, looking at some of the other stores in town, and I still didn't find the stripe one in his size. But I did find this one, and that was $4. And it's fairly long, you know, like Dave's tall, so he needs a fairly long one. I thought for $4, that was a good price for that. So hopefully it fits him. He hasn't tried it on yet. But anyway, I thought it was a nice shirt for $4. The next items that I got were from uh, Dollarama Still. And I wasn't expecting to find those there at all. Uh, it was kind of a funny story because on all things Missy, Missy had found some really nice placemats that had snowmen on them. And I was actually looking for those because I thought those were really nice. And when I went into my store, I didn't see those at all, but I did see these. And here's what they look like. The Halloween ones, and they're they're a cloth placemat, so they're a nice quality, and they've got the uh, spider webs and the spider there, and these were on for two dollars. I didn't even know how much they were when I grabbed them. I just thought, well, I'll take them, and hopefully they're not too much. They were two dollars, so I was quite pleased with that. And the fellow who rang me in, he said he thinks maybe they were old stock from last year because he said they cleaned out the stock room and they were just basically whatever was back there they were shoving it up front and uh, I said well you know I don't remember seeing them last year he says well we've got stuff back there that came in so late that we didn't bother putting it out so he says that's probably what the case was with these so anyway I was thrilled to bits to get them so next thing was uh, the items from uh, Old Navy. I'm wearing one of them right now. It's kind of baggy, but I don't really care. It's a t-shirt. Everybody loves the sunshine, or everyone loves the sunshine. I'm reading backwards. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cute, and I think I paid $11 for that one. And I will get the other items and Hold them up separately. Here's one of the items that I got from Old Navy and it's a pair of men's cargo shorts for Dave. He likes cargo shorts and sometimes they can be hard to find and these ones were on sale for $17.97. I got him to try them on. They fit so he was happy that I got those for him. 
I got myself a new pair of jeans and these were in the reduced bin. I could not believe what I ended up paying for them. As you can see, they've got the bell bottoms on the bottom, which I thought was kind of cool. I have not had bell bottoms, I bet you, since the 70s. So I'm going to be just styling now, I guess. Anyway, this was the price. If I can get it to show. This was the price that it said on them. And when I went to ring them in, they actually came up $2 cheaper than that. So I paid $6 and change for a pair of brand new jeans. So what a deal that was. I also picked up a pair of denim shorts while I was in Old Navy. I thought these looked nice. And I didn't have any denim shorts in my uh, wardrobe. I just had a lot of other kinds of shorts, but not this kind. And these were in the reduced on the reduced rack and I paid $22.99 for those which wasn't super cheap but I did get a bit of a discount on things too I guess because I'm a member there now I get got a little bit of a discount on top of that too anyway I thought they were nice looking shorts so now I will go and show you what I got at Giant Tiger so here's what I got from Giant Tiger. I had it shipped to home. And it's these nice cushions. They're nice and cushy and just the right size for my chairs. And they've got little monkeys on them. So cute. And the tropical theme. And these were on sale for $39, which is a great price for cushions like this. You pay way more than that for them if you get them at like Walmart or or like Home Depot or anything like that. So I was really happy to get those. I waited until they went on sale and that's when I ordered them. And as you can see, you can put them either way with either the stripes or the tropical look. So I'm really happy with those. That was a great deal. So that's my video for today. I hope everybody enjoyed it. As you can tell, I was outside filming the patio furniture cushions and now my glasses have gotten darker since I was filming before, but that's what they're supposed to do, so no problem there. But anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I hope you saw some things that you liked. And if you like my video, please hit the like button and also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. And until next time, everybody have a fantastic day and bye-bye. Bonus here, Yeah. You guys see the seal through the